Well, hello and welcome back to our Marketing Master Course as we explore the real world of effective marketing practice. I'm a dog lover. My family have owned several dogs, though other dog lovers will know all too well that you don't own a dog. Your dog owns you, you know it, the dog knows it, everyone knows it. Now, all the dogs I've known had tails. Labradors, Retrievers, Dachshunds, Mutts, Pugs even, all had tails, and without exception, these tails were wagged furiously by the dog when he or she was happy. But this is not so in marketing classrooms, lecture halls, and academic texts. There, the marketing tail wags the brand management dog. In our introductory classes, we clearly identified marketing as a set of tools, which in the hands of a marketer creates and builds value, which resides in a brand. The purpose of marketing is to create and build value. We marketers call this brand management, the management of this intangible but very real and valuable asset we call a brand. But in the classroom, the lecture hall, the textbook, brand management is just one rung on the marketing ladder, a subset. Philip Kotler is undoubtedly the academic marketing guru of the 20th century. The 12th edition of his seminal classroom text, written with Kevin Lane Keller and open in front of me, is called Marketing Management and not Brand Management. And Kotler doesn't mention brands until page 25. Fahey and Jobber's text on the foundations of marketing does not put brands at the heart of marketing, nor do most universities, colleges, the Chartered Institute of Marketing, the American Marketing Association, and other educational institutions. Brand management, where I teach, is one year three module out of the 20 or so that make up a course in marketing. No academic recognizes openly that marketing's end is to create brand value. Now that's okay in a classroom, but it's not okay in practice. A practitioner has to prioritize, has to set objectives, has to be seen to be effective. For the marketing practitioner, it must be clear which is the dog and which is the tail. In practice, the brand management dog wags the marketing tail, a toolkit tail, not the other way around. Go to college, go to university, go to the courses run by the great professional bodies, and there you will learn more than you can imagine about our great profession. But never forget your priorities as a practitioner. You practice in the real world, and there what counts is results. To justify its existence, to justify your existence as a consultant or an employee, you must have your objectives clear. Your objective is to create value. You build assets, and the assets you build, the reservoir of the value create, is a brand. The brand management dog wags the marketing tail. We'll talk about objectives in the next class. Competition, armpits, alligators, and swamps. Come and join us.